Hey guys, welcome back to the Moran family. Today's video is going to be a try on haul for myself. So no kids in this video, all about me. I did some damage at two stores. I shopped at Shein and Forever 21, which is so weird to say. Does anybody else still shop at Forever 21? I've been shopping there since middle school, but I stopped for so long because I felt like Every time I found a cute top there, it had like some weird saying and like graphic on the back and I just was not about it. So I stopped shopping there for a while, but I recently like just randomly went on there one day and they have some very cute stuff. As always, links to everything will be down below in the description as well as my sizing info for reference. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it because... I have a lot of stuff, you guys. So first store I'm going to show you is Forever 21. I'm gonna jump into there at the Leisure Wear. So this first one is a set. So it comes with the top and then the bottoms. I was so excited for this one, but I tried it on and unfortunately it just doesn't fit me right. The bottoms were like way too big on me and they just like fit really weird. You guys will see it here in a second when I try it on. But here's what the bottoms look like. These are a thicker material, kind of like a um, wool knit material. Here is the top. It's like this little um, crop top. So you can definitely still get away with wearing this in the summer even though it is on the thicker side. The next bottoms fit so good and they are so comfortable i'm probably going to go ahead and buy the other two colors there was like a mauve color and then i think there was like a mustard yellow kind of color so i'm pretty sure i'm going to go and buy the other ones because these just fit so good they look a little small when you hold them up but they are so stretchy i love the color too that lavender color love it i'm just like super obsessed with lavender right now so i'm loving that color I also got these shorts. These ones are more like for working out. I'm still going to use the other ones as working out, but these ones are like true workout shorts, if that makes sense, just because the material is different. Still really stretchy. It's in like this maroon color. And this is actually like their actual um, athletic brand from Forever 21. So. Whenever I show you something with this logo right here, it just means that it's their athletic wear. I grabbed some black basic workout shorts. These are on the shorter side, but they're still really comfortable. Again, this is their actual athletic line. They are super stretchy. I'm really impressed with Forever 21's athletic wear. Just super comfortable, very inexpensive, and really cute too. I got some biker shorts i got two pairs of gray biker shorts i think they're actually different now that i'm looking at it because this band on this one is a little bit thicker i don't see the athletic logo so i think oh yep these are the athletic ones so these are athletic biker shorts just gray and then i believe these ones are just yes these ones are just regular biker shorts from their regular like clothing line so i bought these for like whenever i wear like oversized tees you guys know i love my oversized tees i have so many so i bought those for that same thing with these black biker shorts these next two tops are from their athletic line and unfortunately they were way too tight on me so for my sizing and tops i range between a small to medium usually when i am unsure of how a top is going to fit when i'm shopping online i just go ahead and go with a medium just that way i have a little extra room these two i got in a size medium they were way too restricting on me they just felt really tight especially like on my arms and like armpit area but i love the fit of these so i think i'm going to exchange them for a size large and then i just got like this black grayish color this next set is the last thing that i got from forever 21's athletic line and it is probably hands down my favorite set it is so pretty first of all can we just talk about this color it's in like this periwinkle color so pretty i think this color is so flattering i don't own anything this color so i am loving it so the next things that i have from forever 21 are just like their regular clothing line so these next two are so 
soft i actually wore this one last night for pjs so cute they are kind of like um sweat shorts kind of but they're in like this really soft knit kind of material so these ones are in like this kind of camel brown tan kind of color super cute and they fit a little high-waisted too which is how i like my bottom and then i got this like mint greenish color here's the next top this one is ribbed it's in a brown color i definitely could have sized down in this one this one was a little bit big on me i could have got it a little bit more fitted especially because that's kind of like the vibe of this shirt it's supposed to be more on the fitted side since it has like these ties because it looks a little weird because when i do try to like tighten the sides up here it just kind of like fits awkward down on the bottom of my stomach so definitely i would recommend sizing down in this one i also forgot to mention the shirt that i'm wearing today is from forever 21 it says quit bugging me and then it has like little bugs all around it. this next top i've worn a ton already if you follow me on instagram you've probably seen it a couple times i just cannot get enough of this top definitely different than how i normally dress but it is so cute and it is perfect for breastfeeding if you are new here i am a mom two three this top is perfect for that because i could literally just pull it down and whip my boob out because it is a wrap top so super cute it's in like this brownish color and then it ties down here in the bottom the next tee you've probably seen on my instagram it's a cropped graphic tee i'm a sucker for a good graphic tee it's in this pretty vibrant purple color and then it has a leopard it has some distressing on it this definitely fits more oversized because the sizing was i believe it was like extra small to small or you can get a medium to large i got a medium to large in this because i like my graphic tees more oversized so just keep that in mind if you buy this that it's more on the oversized fit this next tee is in this like pale yellowish orange color it has moons on it i don't know why but i always gravitate towards tees that have moons and suns for some reason i'm not really sure but i always gravitate towards them these are not fake ties by the way they actually do tighten so you can make your top shorter tighter or you can make them looser whatever is your vibe this next tee is kind of like a halter muscle kind of tee i'm not really sure what you would call it but i am obsessed with this neckline it's very on trend right now and i just think it's super flattering on this one has a butterfly on it it says chasing you and then it is knotted in the front this one is also in like that same neckline as that top i just shared with you you've probably seen these tanks everywhere i swear everybody has them they are just so flattering though unfortunately this one was a little bit on the see-through side so i have to kind of find like a nude bra to wear under this because it is more sheer i got another graphic tee this one is oversized very oversized actually i got a size medium in this one but i would say this fits more so as a large which i don't mind because i could always knot it in the front or i like to also tuck in my tees too i specifically got this one for disneyland because now that disneyland is open we are planning a family vacation and we're also thinking of taking our daughter for her first birthday so definitely disney trips are in our future so that's why i got this one i needed a new disney tee so this one says take me to neverland and then it has like peter pan wendy and the kids on it i got two sweatshirts but they kind of have like a different fit to them so this first one is gray it is cropped this one kind of fits a little bit off the shoulder you can kind of get away with it if you want to wear it like that the sleeves on this one are like balloon sleeves so they're very loose on your arms and then they are more fitted on the bottom since it is cuffed this one is also a cropped sweater but it's in a purple vibrant color i would say this one is a little bit more fitted than the other one the other one is kind of more like slouchy up top like i said you can kind of get away with wearing that one off the shoulder versus this one is just like a scoop neckline i got two dresses and i believe these are the last two things that i got from forever 21 these two dresses are definitely out of my comfort zone this first one is checkered it has like that halter 
neckline or I guess a racer back is what you would call this. It's checkered, like I said, pink and white. This one is very, very fitted. I didn't really like the way this one fit me, which I'm kind of bummed about because I think it is just so pretty, especially for like spring and summer. But I just felt like it accentuates the things that you don't want it to accentuate, you know? Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think it looks a little weird on me? I don't know. Maybe it's just me because it's a little out of my comfort zone, but I was really unsure about that one. This one, really, really out of my comfort zone. I know what you're thinking. It's literally just a black dress, but I don't ever really wear dresses like this, especially like fitted dresses like this one. Definitely a little risky for me because this one does ride up a little bit. So that's the only downside to it, but it is just so pretty. I think it's really flattering on. So that was everything from Forever 21. So the next store that I have to share with you guys is Shein, and I have quite a bit of stuff from there too. This first thing that I got is a hat kind of random i don't know how i feel about this hat either it is really hot where we live right now it's like 109 110 most days right now so i bought this for whenever i take the girls outside or if i am like even just going to go get the mail it is so hot and i don't really own that many hats so i bought this one but like i feel like i look ridiculous with this i don't know <laughs> I feel like i'm gonna go I feel like I'm gonna go exploring, like into the thick of it, into the thick of it. Oh, -na 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 -na. I just, it's just not my vibe. This next top looks a little crazy, but it looks so cute on. I already tried it on. I do plan on wearing a little, I grabbed this out of my closet so I can show you. I plan on wearing like a little cropped tank underneath it because this top is 100% sheer but it is really stretchy. This didn't seem really itchy to me. I'm not sure how it would feel if I wear it like all night if I went out wearing this. So it is a little scratchy, but it wasn't like super uncomfortable to me, but just keep it in mind. It is a little scratchy because it does have some sparkles on it, but I just think this top is really cute, especially with just some like high-waisted, mom denim jeans i think this top looks really cute like that the next top probably looks familiar to some of you guys because i have this top in like a bluish green kind of color and i wear it all of the time this is the same exact top but this one is in like a tan color it has some ruching in the front has the lettuce detailing along the sleeves and then on the bottom of the shirt. This next one is in a baby pink color. I'm not sure how I like the fit of this one on me. I feel like it just was a little too cropped for my liking. I also got another one of those like muscle halter kind of tees, but I got another one from Shein. This one is not see-through, so I might just order this one in a couple other colors because this one came in a lot of colors. So it's just ribbed. This one was a little bit on the longer side versus like a cropped fit. This next top kind of has that same fit as that tan top that I showed you guys, but this one is white. It has little blue flowers all over it, and then it has this ruching detail down the front. It has a tie on the bottom and this actually does tighten too so you can like tighten it and then have like a more fitted cropped fit. These next four tees are the same exact t-shirt but I got it in four colors because you could always use some basic tees. They're just solid colored tees. So this one is black. It has the lettuce detailing along the collar, along the sleeves, and then down the bottom of the shirt. I also got it in this a lavender color that I've been loving. I got it in gray and then I got it in white. This next tee definitely fits on the smaller side. That's the thing with Shein, their sizing can be really inconsistent. So my tip if you're gonna shop at Shein is definitely read the reviews. I always read the reviews. That way I can kind of know like what size to get and I can see it on other people and just kind of figure out what sizing I need to get. So this one definitely runs on the smaller side. This is a size large and I usually wear a small to medium like I said, but this one is not even that big on me. So this is the last tee that I have to share with you guys and then I have a jacket and then that is going to conclude this haul. This tee is the only 
oversized graphic tee that I bought, which is so shocking for me. I just think this tee is so pretty. Again, it has the suns and moons on it. I don't know why I gravitate towards things with those, but I just do for some reason. I just think this one is so pretty, so fun, especially because the color, it's like a hot pink color, which I don't own anything in this color, and I just think it is so fun. I've been loving the whole, like, vibrant colors last thing for this haul is a jacket i think this jacket is so flattering it is cropped and then the sleeves are a little um loose and then it has like these pretty like tortoise shell buttons on the sleeves and then down the front all right guys well that is it for this haul make sure you check out the description for all of my sizing info links to everything comment down below what your favorites were this haul was definitely more out of my comfort zone i'm starting to feel really comfortable in my own skin which is a really great feeling because i am eight months postpartum with my fourth baby so it's taken a while for me to get here but i'm just feeling so great lately and i'm just really proud of myself for straying away from oversized clothing but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the moran family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time i upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>